Hi, I'm Vince and welcome to Hard Base. Visual art and music have a lot of things in common. However, there is one important principle that seems natural and essential in music, which is forgotten by most beginner artists. A principle that brings life, movement and energy to your artwork. The repetition and harmony. So let's discover the power of music and how you can use it to help you to create an artistic masterpiece. The basic. Before we start with the basic, I recommend you to check out my video on how to add a soul to your portrait. You will get a complete introduction of the symbolic of shapes in a figurative artwork. When it's done, you can come back here. Alright, let's go. Everything, and I insist on it, everything on this planet is created with one of these three forms. The square with its straight lines and rectangular sides. The circle with its curves. The triangle with its straight lines and sharp sides. With the straight lines, the square and the triangle frequently comes together to create a single type of shape. However, keep in mind that there are three distinct types of shapes to add some variety to your work. Ok, now you are totally on point with the basic forms and their symbolic, we can explore the relationships between art and music. Repetition and harmony, how it works. Let's start with a simple example. We create a black square and add it a musical note. Great, now let's repeat this square three times. We now have a repetition. A repetition of form, size and values. However, this is quickly boring to listen and watch. To bring some variety, we can change, for example, the size of the squares. We now have a repetition and an harmony. An harmony of form, size and values. We can also change the value of the square. It gives an harmonic repetition. The different values are also created a gradation. We start to the black and finish to the grey. A gradation can be created with a smooth change of values, color, size, texture and so on. But don't worry, we'll keep it simple for the moment. So let's see what happens if we add a white circle. We create a discord, or contrast, or my favorite personal code, the look at me effect. This discord made the circle the center of this piece. It brings all your attention. So you understand how powerful is this concept for creating a strong focal point. However, it's possible to fix it without breaking the harmony of square already in place. For doing that, we simply reduce the value of the circle. With the change, we now have an harmonic repetition of shapes and values. The circle is integrated with the squares. Everything is well balanced and contrast, and pleasant to listen. So let's resume what we already saw with an example on a canvas. Repetition, harmony, harmonic repetition, and finally, harmonic repetition of shapes and values. Great. Now you understand how it works with values, let's see what happens if we add some color to this blueprint. Harmony with colors. We get back to our four squares and add a red tone to there. Except one who we create with a flashy green. What? It clashes. Like you probably already understand, we have here a pure discord between the red tones and the green square. To fix that, we can play with color theory. For this example, I will take the green square and change it to an analog color of the red. That means orange. I can't explain here everything about color theory. It will be the topic of an entire video, course, or life. We now have an harmonic repetition of shapes, values, and colors. The complete blueprint. We can modify the orange square by a circle or triangle. The layout still elegant and harmonious. The big difference between a beginner and a professional. 
Let's listen to different songs. Beginner. Professional. Which one sound like more agreeable to her? And of course to watch. This difference, which as for glance seems insignificant, is in fact crucial for the good structure of your work. Alright, and now with abstract representation of repetition and harmony. Let's see what this looks like on a real masterpiece. Master painting analysis. To begin this painting analysis, let's take a portrait made by William Aldof Bougro. The first thing to do is to find out what is the dominant shape in the work. Is it the square, the circle, or the triangle? Did you find it? In this example, it is the triangle that dominates the work. Yes. It seems strange, but it helped me to make you understand that real objects are rarely a simple square, circle, or triangle. They are, most of the time, more complex shapes. As you can see in this picture. I highly recommend you to memorize this image to get a huge advantage when you want to do interesting shapes. The link is in the description below. Ok, let's go back to the Bougro artwork. We can see the shape of the triangle family on the head, the neck, the shirt, and the coat. Also, like many master painters, Bougro had a subtle discord to get some variety. Do you see it? This is a circle. The circle is present on the woman's eyes, the wing, and the big shirt button. However, this discord looks elegant and soft. It does not conflict with the other element of the artwork. Why? Because the value and color of the circle object are in harmony with the triangular shape. You can see this more clearly with this implication of the artwork. And if we go back to the first part of this video, with the blueprint of simple form, this is what it looks like. The triangle is the dominant shape, the circle is the subshape, yellow green is the dominant color, yellow is the subcolor. Simple as that. Great. Now that you have seen what this can look like on a portrait, let's take another slightly more complex example with Edgar Dega and his famous dancer. Here, we will focus on the harmony of the work and how Dega managed to make it perfectly balanced. We begin by search the center of the picture. To do this, we need to draw the two principal diagonal called Baroque and Sinister. I won't go into the technique of composition to not overwhelm you of information. Nevertheless, you can remember these two terms if you wish. After that, we can find the center of the image. We now divide the picture in four equal parts. If we highlight each place where a dancer is present, we realize that they form a unity, and therefore, create an harmony through the whole work. This is exactly the same for dark pattern. We can see that it is present in every part of the artwork. They are also creating brilliant arabesques who point directly to the climax of the piece. That means the two guys in the right. So, as you can see, nothing is done and placed randomly in a master painting. Conclusion Repetition and harmony in a work can change everything. With proper application, it can take your image from flat and boring to exciting and interesting. It's important to understand that harmony can take many forms. Shapes, size, values, colors, texture and so on. And she can also be a mixture of all of this. The possibilities are endless, so feel free to experiment to get a unique result. So now when you look at a master painting, trying to find out which dominant shape is used, square, circle or triangle, and the different repetition and harmony of these shapes. Then you will probably be surprised to discover all the secret that this type of artwork can hide from a non-expert eye. Thank you for your attention. Don't hesitate to come back to this video whenever you need it. You probably won't understand everything in one viewing. This topic is fundamental and can make a huge improvement to your artwork, and unfortunately, unknown to most artists. Anyway, as always, keep creating, and see you on the next one.